hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is prestige p and in today's video i'll be talking about uh, this palette which i picked up in ulta a couple days ago which is called trendy in tokyo never tried um bh cosmetic before but today's the day so i'll be testing it out this is not a full um foundation review it's only for the eyes I just want to test out everything so I'm only going to focus on the eyes in today's video and then the rest of my face I'm going to do off camera but I just want to test slash demo this out on camera so that you know I could show you guys what's the tea on this which this one is not it's inexpensive I think I pay like six dollars something like that I don't remember but it was very cheap less than twenty dollars in Ulta and I cannot wait to show you guys how I create this nice sort of pink makeup look make sure you already subscribe to my channel turn on the bell because i do upload monday through friday so yeah let's jump right into this tutorial okay guys so we're gonna start with the skin i already did my eyebrow off camera and we're gonna prep the skin and i'm gonna be using my tatcha the skin dewy skin cream and this is for dry skin i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit on my hands and then just start rubbing it in So next, I'm going to take my Hue Facial Serum and I'm going to take that and just squeeze it onto the cheeks and then rub it in. And how are you guys um, loving that video yesterday, how I do my makeup, like, you know, no makeup makeup tutorial? Did you guys enjoy it? Because I really did enjoy it and some of the things that I tried for the first time, like the technique that I put on my face. It's the first time I'm doing it and I was doing it on camera you know so you guys can see how it is and I really like it so let me know how you feel about that video yesterday but if you did not watch it make sure you watch it after you watch this video so that I can know you know if you guys are loving my videos and if you have any suggestion you know please let me know in the description box not the description box the comment section <laughs> okay so yeah so as you guys know that i normally don't pri i don't prime if i do prime it's a moisturizing hydrating primer which is from nyx right here you guys know this is the only moisturizing primer i have um, I can't prime like I can't use those silicone primers because I do have dry skin All right, so next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with the eyes you guys know that I always start with the eyes And what I'm looking for I cannot find and I know it's in front of me <laughs> see So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna clean up my eyebrow Okay guys, so I bring you up close and personal and I want to um, talk about this palette here that I picked up from Ulta. This is the BH Trendy in Tokyo right here. Hope you can see it. But I picked this up from Ulta, I think it was four days ago. So I know BH Cosmetic has been out for a very, very, very long time. I don't know how long this palette has been out you guys know I do not get PR so every time I do talk about and review products on my channel it's my honest opinion because it's my money and even if it wasn't my money and I send PR I still would tell you guys my honest review honest opinion about it so we're gonna open it up I, I opened it up I did because I just want to see how it is because I am just so scared of palettes right now. Talk about, oh, they're so pigmented. And when a dark skin girl tried out, that shit look horrible on their skin. And it's not pigmented. So, um, God, why can't I take this out? Hold on a second. Okay. All right, so as I said, I don't know how long this palette has been out. I'm always late to the game, but who cares? So this is called Trendy in Tokyo. 
and this is the way how it is it comes with this thing right here it comes with a mirror which I love so this is the colors right here and these colors are really nice like it's good for the the springtime and summertime coming up so I cannot wait to try this palette and also it has the name here so I'm happy okay because sometimes I have to look at the back and look for the name I, I don't like that so I'm happy the names are here so we're gonna go ahead and try something um, it doesn't have any like cool brown shade which you know for us we need a transition shade so these are the only right here these are the only transition shade and it's kind of like a um, cool tone orange like a toned on orange right here these two and this one is red so yeah we're gonna see what we can do I don't want to go too crazy on these right now I just want to try it out and test it out and see how it work so we're gonna get a brush and we're gonna start off with I'm gonna start off with um, trendsetter this one is called trendsetter up here and I'm gonna take it onto a flat top brush it have fallout but you guys know I don't care about fallout as long as it's pigmented okay I don't care and we're gonna take it and as you see that is a lot come out so I'm gonna tap it off a little bit and then I'm gonna start tapping it on it's very powdery though you guys can't see it but I see it it's very powdery wow 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 okay yikes all right so I'm gonna slowly blend it in mm. and let's see what happened okay <laughs> okay so I'm looking at my monitor right now I can't see like I see a little teeny bit of color but if I look in the mirror I see the color more right here is very patchy I did not set my lid I, you guys know I put one the concealer but I did not set it so I I'm, I don't know it's because I did not set it or what but we're gonna do this side not set and then I'm gonna go ahead and set this side afterwards but this color is not it's not working out for me I don't like it it's very patchy it look very dusty it doesn't look blended so far I don't know what's going on I don't know I don't know but we're gonna see what happened okay so I blend it out I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna clean it off and then I'm gonna dip into another color or should I okay so let me take another smaller brush like a very smaller one and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into sushi right here this one is called sushi and I'm gonna take that this one have a little bit of fallout but you know so I'm gonna put that right into the crease right up into the crease this one have color but as I said the blending with both colors right now my lid looks so horrible I don't know if you guys can see it but this should all look good on my lid already but I'm gonna continue to do it I mean not a big difference all right, so the next shade I'm gonna try. So these are all the matte. Let me see how much matte they have. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they have ten mattes. You guys can see it. And then for the shimmers, one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers. All right, so these are all the colors here. They have more matte than shimmers, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love matte shades. So the next one I'm gonna go into 
is um i don't know i'm just not feeling these vibes right now because the first shade just pissed me off something but um i'm gonna go into this shade right here which is called met fuji if that's how you pronounce it and i'm gonna take it onto this brush and this feels like a press pigment okay so you guys know i can't use my fingers so i'm gonna try to see how it look onto the brush and i'm gonna put it right onto the lid the color is nice this is a nice color yeah i really like this it's showing up but it's very subtle really really subtle which if you're looking for a like nice shimmery subtle shade and you want to pick up this palette this will definitely work for you it's not like overpowering as you guys can see the lid it's really pretty i like this one but it's very subtle So next I'm gonna go back into I'm gonna go into fashion which is that red shade right here and I'm gonna take it this one have no fallout look at that mm, okay interested and I'm gonna tap it right onto the outer corner just to blend that in and guys I am not trying to do a makeup look to go out okay so if these colors look horrible I'm not trying to do any makeup look to go out. I'm just trying to review the colors in here to see if it will work together if I like the Spage Cosmetic. So if my shades on my lid look horrible, which it does, <laughs> okay, it, it's just a review, okay? It's just a review, that's it. I wish they had a brown shade in here though for the transition shade. I wish they had like a like a cool tone brown and then a deep deep brown like i wish you could take some of these shimmer out and just put it in there that would be so perfect for dark skin shades so perfect but they don't have it so just gonna do what i gotta do i don't like this <laughs> this looks very bad okay so next i'm gonna take another brush and I'm just gonna take it. I'm not gonna put anything on it. I'm just gonna blend out the top parts. Another color onto the lid, just to see how it work. Cause I see another pink shade, which is cool. I'm wiping off my brush though, guys, cause I'm using the same brush. It's called N A. It's called A N I M A. I don't know. This one right here. I'm gonna take it. It's close to the shade that I put onto my lid, but it's like a, you know, another shade. And I'm gonna put that right, where should I put it? Right into the inner corner. Ooh, this one look nice. Yes, this one looks so nicer. You know what? Tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video, I'm gonna do a makeup look that you could wear out with this pink shade right here i really like it so tomorrow's video you guys make sure you tune in i'm gonna use this pink shade right here to do a makeup look with it because this pink one right now on my lid it looks mad nice very subtle but nice see that really pretty i like it okay so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what we're gonna do all right so you know what i'm gonna go into i'm gonna go into the fenty beauty and i'm gonna use that for the lid for this one here and i'm also gonna set it and see how it works if the shades are different or does it make a difference if i do put um set it so i'm just gonna go ahead and put the fenty beauty and then blend it out.
and then I'm gonna use my Sasha setting powder and just tap it right onto the lid all right so we're gonna go back into those shades that I put on this eye and I'm gonna take some clean brushes I'm not gonna use the same one I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right here I'm gonna go back into the trendsetter which is the top one that I use and I'm gonna put it onto this brush tap a little bit and then I'm gonna start blending okay so far it's the same problem like if I if I do like tap it like tap it like this and then you know normally we do, we kind of like tap on before we blend it out if I tap it on onto the side and I leave it it's gonna stay there like you're gonna see a whole big chunk right here it's not gonna blend out smoothly so that's my problem it's like it's like a big chunk of color right here I don't know if you guys can see but right here I have a big chunk and then when I blend it out it's blending but it's still leaving a big chunk right here if you guys understand what I'm saying so I'm gonna go into sushi in a really smaller brush and I'm gonna take that right into the inner I mean into the crease right into the crease and blend it out All right, let me just finish this look and we could talk about it. All right, so I'm gonna go into the lid right now and I'm gonna take the first shade, which is called MT Fuji down here. And I'm gonna put it onto the lid. So next I'm gonna go into the second shade which is called the one that I told you like I don't know the name of this but I will put it up on the screen it is a n i m e I don't know how to pronounce it but that's the one right here and I'm gonna put it right here okay and then I'm gonna go into this red one right here which is called fashion tap it onto the outer so next I'm gonna go into my favorite and my X wing liner and I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do a wing I'm just gonna line my lash line And then I'm gonna go into my mascara, which is the Maybelline. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I put my lashes off camera. This one is cool, independent from my wig company, prestigemahir.com. <laughs> the link is always in the description box, so make sure you guys check it out. So now I'm gonna start with the under eyes. And I'm gonna take this red shade right here and I'm gonna use it onto a pencil brush. And I'm just gonna kinda blend it in. Tap it in and blend it in as I go. And as I said guys, this one here which is called Fashion, it has no fallout, like I cannot believe it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it right in. Very subtle very 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 subtle it's not like wow in your face so I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep on putting it on okay so I feel like I'm gonna put one more shade under the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off 
and then I'm gonna go into emoji which is this nice pink color and then I'm gonna put it right into the inner all right and then one more shade I think I wanted to go into I'm gonna change my brush and I'm gonna go into this nice small brush and I'm gonna go into this shade at the bottom which is the one I put on my lid and I'm gonna put it right into the waterline okay so I think that's it for um, this right here I'm gonna do, go ahead and do my mascara I'm gonna do my face off camera because it's really not about the makeup because I don't have no new makeup like no new foundation I don't have it's the same thing um, I'm gonna go into the Juvia's place by the way and put it on and then I'll be right back okay guys so I am back and I just did my rest of my face off camera um, so let's talk let's talk about this BH cosmetic trendy in Tokyo um, palette okay as I said in my intro that you know I just want to focus on the eyes and I'm just demoing slash reviewing this palette so it's not going to be a long video so all right all right so let's talk about this as I said I don't know how long this palette has been out and um, I know BH cosmetic has been out for a very long time but this is my first 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 ever like purchase of me you know trying anything BH cosmetic so I really don't know what I was up for I really don't know how the how they do their pigmented I don't like I just don't know nothing about this um, company at all so you know this is my first ever time trying BH cosmetic um, I'm gonna give this palette another shot as I said um, in my tomorrow's video which is gonna be my Wednesday video I'm gonna kind of do something that you could wear out even though you definitely could wear this out as you guys see like look at this like do you see how pretty it is but if you do come close to me like right here in my face you're gonna see those like patches right here especially you know with those matte colors that I tried you're gonna see it but if you're far away like this it look mad pretty like I'm looking at the monitor right now and it's pretty like it's really pretty you can definitely wear it out but I just want to try more colors in here which you know I only try the pinks and then the middle shades I haven't been over here yet I haven't tried this yellow color so I really want to give this another shot so make sure you guys check out my Wednesday Wednesday I can't talk my Wednesday video which I'm gonna to try to demo it and try to do something that I could kind of wear out you know to the club dinner you know somewhere out so I'm gonna try it out tomorrow so make sure you guys check it out and I'm gonna do a full beat face like beats full coverage beats like beat 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 <laughs> to the most high so yeah but so far the colors that I tried on here the first shade which is called trendsetter you guys hear me talk about it I did not like how it looked on my eyelid it did not blend out well I tried one side without setting it I tried the other side setting it it's the same thing I don't know it's because I'm using I'm not using like a eyeshadow um, primer I'm just using the concealer but I mean everybody use concealer to set their eyes and their stuff come out well and I didn't have a problem with um, different palette that I tried from Morphe the um, the other palette that I love I don't have a problem with it these matte shade remind me of the Jaclyn Hill palette volume 2 you guys see that I review it from top to bottom and it just the matte was not my greatest the shimmers were so perfect so kind of this remind me of it like it does you know but so far these shimmery shade I love look at my eyelid it's really subtle and nice I really really love it so I'm gonna give this another shot you know but 
you know sound off guys down below let me tell me what you think about this look and if you um have you ever tried this have you ever tried bh cosmetic did you ever see anyone on youtube trying this particular palette out i haven't checked i will go ahead and check and see if there's any you know dark skin girls like me or dark or ever tried this particular palette out i never i didn't see it so i don't know how it is but sound off down below tell me what you think about this whole entire look you know the palette you know just sound off down below give me your thoughts and your opinion but either way i like it so far but don't come close to me <laughs> and yeah let me know in the um, comment section and don't forget to check me out every single day Monday through Friday for more video and make sure your button is saying subscribe it's green not green it's gray or white it's not red so make sure that subscribe button is not red and turn on your notification and I will see you tomorrow in my next video bye guys